I have 13 genius Dollar Tree hacks that are going to beat Amazon. Yes, I know you've seen this before in other people's YouTube videos and mine, but I'm going to show you a trick with this that you probably have never seen before. At least I'd be really surprised. Or how about this? Oh no, this isn't just a silicone mat from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you some really clever ways to use this, plus many more. I know who you watch on YouTube. Yes, I stock in YouTube. So I'm not going to show you this. My goal for you when you walk away from some of my videos is to say, wow, I learned something new and I chuckled and had a good time and hold on one second. Dun, 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 coffee, grab your coffee if you have it. Cheers, my friends, strap on your seatbelt because we are gonna have a fun time. Let's do it. Toilet brushes are not just for your toilet. In fact, when you're at the Dollar Tree next time, buy two or three for these tricks. I'm going to show you next. Vases. Check out these vases. Different shapes and sizes. Particularly the tall one has already been washed in my dishwasher, but you can see they're still staining on there. So I find that when it comes to cleaning your vases, it's best just to hand wash them. Have you ever thought of using a toilet brush? Yes, a brand new clean toilet brush never used in your toilet. You can see it is much larger than a baby bottle brush, which is great when it comes to cleaning vases. Now we're gonna grab some DIY power wash. I'm gonna link the recipe in the description box below. We're gonna use this all throughout this video because it works that great and yes you can use any sort of dish soap including this Dollar Tree one which I love spray your brush generously or you can spray it directly inside of your vase grab your brush and go to town I was literally able to clean this in I don't know about 20 seconds or so the bristles are just firm yet gentle enough to get in all those nooks and crannies go ahead and rinse out your vase yes this is gonna save you room in your dishwasher which is excellent look how clean and shiny that is no watermarks. I'm loving this. Why have I not been cleaning all my vases with a toilet brush sooner? Another great place to use those Dollar Tree toilet brushes are in your bird baths. They get so mucked up with gunk. Yes, I'm going to be the crazy bird lady once my kids are all grown. How about those kitchen garbage cans or any outdoor garbage can or a bathroom garbage can? This one is in my kitchen. It gets so dirty even though there's always a bag in it. The handle on the toilet brush is fantastic because I can get to the very bottom of it. This tool is actually from the Dollar Tree as well. I got it in the craft section. I love if something is sticky or stuck down in that garbage can. I can use it to help lift it up a little bit better. Then go ahead and rinse out your garbage can and you can see it is so sharp shiny and white again with little to no effort. How about those bike tires or anything when it comes to cleaning your bike? The toilet brush is great for that. And my car wheels. It's hard to find a tool that fits in those nooks and crannies as well as this Dollar Tree toilet brush and the handle is very sturdy which is fantastic. I was able to shine these up yes with our DIY Dawn Power Wash. And there's even a loop at the end of this toilet brush so you can easily hang this up for future use. Grab a veggie brush, yes, also from the Dollar Tree, but we're not gonna wash veggies with it. We're gonna get a little creative. These are my daughter's shoes. Grab yourself some super strength mean green. You can also use the DIY Dawn Power Wash, but I wanted to give you an alternative. I use this product on lots of thrifting things, but you're gonna spray your shoes down very generously with this product. And it has just a nice smell to it and grab your veggie brush. It is soft enough yet sturdy enough to get in all the right places when it comes to cleaning those shoes. I'm just going to clean one shoe for comparison reasons so that you can really see how well the veggie brush worked on cleaning these shoes. Moment of truth. This is the shoe that we cleaned with the mean green and the veggie brush. It is looking so nice, white, and shiny. And this is the one that I did not touch. Save yourself a trip to your laundry room and just give this veggie brush a whirl. Let me know in that comments box below if you've ever used it before. This is one of the baskets I was talking about that I got from the thrift store. It houses all our shoes, but I did use a shoe brush cleaner to clean this basket, but you can use a veggie brush. Now, how am I going to get this towel white again? I do recommend using a pre-treat stain remover such as OxyClean or this Tide Rescue. Nothing in this video is sponsored by the way. Now it's ready to join the other whites when it comes to whitewashing day. With this one, I'm going to save you big bucks and hopefully reduce the amount of breakups that you experience on your face. If you saw last week's video, I had a big planet on my forehead, but not this week. Mm -mm. 
I saw this interesting contraption when it comes to cleaning your brushes on Amazon. I thought, hmm, let's just check this out. You put some solution in there, hit a button, and then you hold your brushes for 30 seconds while well, this thing just swirls everything around. I don't know if this is necessarily worth the price point of just over $21. So grab any sort of makeup brush that you have and this paintbrush cleaning cup. This is going to serve two purposes here. I'm going to show you in just a second. This brush is real dirty and gunked up. It houses my blush every day and then some Johnson baby shampoo and wash. I love the cotton touch. Fill it with some warm water. Add just a little bit of your baby shampoo and then we can yes we can move our wrist to clean these brushes unlike the Amazon product and in fact I didn't even need to do this for 30 seconds I was able to get the job done much faster with the flick of a wrist and then rinse off your brushes with some warm water to get all of that baby shampoo out and look at how much product was housed up in that brush nasty all over my face no wonder I had a breakout and open up your cup this is the second purpose you can actually use this to stand up your brush and dry it. Now, if you have skinnier brushes, you can put more in there, but this worked fantastic. So sparkly, shiny, and like new. Naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Just kidding. So strange. This sure is really fun. It's got like a nice hook here. Like, loop, doo -doo. Into the next hack. Here we are at the Dollar Tree in the kitchen section. We have two color options. We have the red and we have the gray. I like both for different reasons, but it's textured, which is really nice. And then anything can escape through this little groove that you see here. It's going to come in handy. So we have a ton of water bottles in my house with six people, and we're going to grab a bottle brush. You can pick one of these up from the Dollar Tree. The toilet brush doesn't quite fit very well when it comes to water bottles and these sippy cups. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this really quick and easy. I also find it easier to clean this by hand rather than in the dishwasher, but I can dry everything on here. Three pieces, I could fit a little bit more on there if I wanted to, and nothing is slipping off and water can escape. How about a cutting board? Slippery, dangerous, you got sharp things. Put your silicone mat underneath and then place your cutting board on top and that is not moving anywhere. No more cut fingers. You can shop with ease. We are excited. This is awesome. Are you cooking something tasty in your kitchen? Rather than using a dirty spoon rest that starts to collect dust and you can really only fit like one spoon on top of there, grab the silicone mat. This comes in so handy. You could probably fit about three larger spoons on there if you wanted to. And it's so easy to clean. Rather than something on your counter collecting dust, it's easy to move. It is not going to break. You can actually buy these on Amazon for just under $11. But why when you can get the beautiful Dollar Tree version? Do you need to open up some jars of some sort? You need a little extra help? You need some extra grip. Yes, the silicone mat is going to come in handy, giving you that extra power and strength to get any tasty thing that you want open and into your belly. So excited, so happy. Let's have a salsa party, shall we? And since we're having a party, this glass jar can slide all over my countertop, risking the probability that it could break. But just set it on your silicone pot holding mat and that glass jar is not going anywhere. And these silicone mats take up way less space. They are easy to clean, which means there is more space in my washing machine for other things that need to be cleaned and cared for. Let me know in that comments box below if you love Mrs. Myers or Method household cleaners. I love them both. So when you see it, snag it. Mrs. Myers, I have not bought this product in quite some time, but you can see here it is a dollar twenty. Five. I got so excited I should have grabbed more of these because when I went back to the Dollar Tree on a different day, it was actually in the $5 section. Why? How did they do this? So if you're wanting something that's a little bit more natural than your typical household cleaner, I do love this one and the smell is so nice. So we're going to use it in my garage mudroom entryway that gets really smelly with shoes and backpacks and hockey gear and sports stuff and fingerprints. We have a ton of those 
hands in my house with lots of little fingers. I have to say it's the next day and when I go into my mudroom area, it still has that beautiful, lovely lavender scent and it's very effective. And it smells so good when you walk into your house. It's like lavender all day. And of course, because I start cleaning and looking for fingerprints and spots, I found up high here there was a lot of gunk and grease. I'm not really sure what this is, but the Mrs. Myers cleaner and this light microfiber towel did an excellent job of making it all sparkly and shiny. Speaking of shiny, I'm running an experiment right now to get my granite nice and new. You can see it's very dull. So make sure that you subscribe so you do not miss an upcoming video. Beauty products. I don't wear a ton of makeup. I'd rather spend my dollars and coins on other things like lots of coffee. So if there's something that you got your eye on, check the Dollar Tree first. I like to save money, money. Do you like to save money, money? Okay, now it's getting weird. I've been alone in my house for about seven days. My husband's been gone on a boys trip, so this is what happens. When I found this beauty roller, I got very excited because I had purchased a more expensive one on Amazon and I thought this is going to fit perfectly for my face. I'm going to put it in my freezer next to some corn dogs and meatballs. Yes, I know that is strange. You can buy a refrigerator for over $53 on Amazon to house all of your beauty products. The only thing I would be able to put in there though is, is probably this roller. That's the only thing I freeze. I keep it easy when it comes to all things beauty, but it feels amazing on my face. Here's that Dollar Tree one. It is quite large. It works great, but the Dollar Tree one is awesome as well. And I just put it in a plastic baggie. I have a little trick here. We could put these in coming up. Are you traveling anytime soon or going to the beach? I love Pond's facial wipes. It's also great at removing your makeup. It is soft on your skin. Stock up on these if you see them at your Dollar Tree 10 come in a pack, which is plenty. Also, maybe you've seen these makeup removing cloths that you can just watch up. Well, the Dollar Tree has their very own version. I had to test this out for you. No soap is needed. I was hesitant to use this product, but I can tell you this is so soft. It feels luxurious. You're going to machine wash cold. And then if you're washing by hand, you're going to lay flat to dry. I do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you here in a second, but it did an excellent job of removing my mascara and my eyeliner compared to my Neutrogena makeup wipes. I'm loving this product. I was hesitant, like I said, to use it, but it works great. I actually hang mine up. I don't lay it flat to dry, and I've not noticed any issues when it comes to cleaning these. Speaking of being more environmentally friendly when it comes to makeup application, Amazon has these makeup sponges, but I found it at the Dollar Tree. It is so cool. I wanted to try this out for you. It feels awesome in your fingers. I could not wait to give this a whirl and it's so easy to clean. I will show you here in just a second. So this is what I put on my face but look at this dirty sponge that I use every day that came with the product. It's kind of uh, nasty and by the time I'm done using all of this product that sponge is basically deteriorated but with this silicone one it is so nice. This is not going anywhere. This is staying sturdy and you can see here as I apply the cover up to my hand it goes on very smoothly. You can use as much or as little product product as you want. You can see here on the sponge, where has this been all my life? And it's so easy to wash, again, not putting dirty things back onto my face to prevent those breakouts. And look at this, this eyeshadow switching sponge. I had never seen anything like this before. I had to give it a whirl, try it out for you. I'm not going to recommend something if I haven't thoroughly tried it out, but it's so great. You can easily clean this sponge. So we're going to open this up. It feels great on your fingers. It's got a little grit to it. So I grab my eyeshadow. I do wear a little eyeshadow every day. And we're going to try out three colors here and see if this switching sponge helps from transferring color to color. Rather than having to clean your brush or get a brand new brush, we can save ourselves some cleaning time and some makeup application time. So I'm going in with the red. This is really dark. I don't actually wear this red color. I'm not quite sure what I would do. I would look kind of scary. But then I put it on the switching sponge. It came out perfectly. You can see I have three colors here. Amazing. Let's repurpose, shall we? Should we turn the weird factor down just a little bit? 
Look at this beautiful bottle, fancy like Applebee's on a date night. I didn't care if the product worked great, although I did want it to. I wanted to get my money's worth. But look at what all this can do. Glass, countertops, tile, wood, and stone. And then I want to try out this fabric free freshener from the Dollar Tree. I have to tell you, it stinks. I don't love it. I wanted to put my own DIY linen spray in this all-purpose bottle, which I absolutely will do. These bottles are gorgeous. They're great for essential oils because they are dark in nature. Or if you wanted to put some hydrogen peroxide in this bottle. And according to Aroma Web, if you want your essential oils to last longer, make sure that they are in dark bottles. These label stickers are from Amazon. They're just under $13. They are gorgeous. They are the best label stickers I have ever seen. Now the outside patio window gets so dirty with fingerprints and dust. So I wanted to try this on the windows to see if it would work because if it works on the windows it's going to work great on anything else because the windows you can see all the spots and gunk and if the product didn't work it's going to show up for you rather than on my dark countertops but you can see here my e-cloth is looking real nasty and dirty i have to say this product worked amazing on my glass sliding door i was really impressed by it i have to say for a dollar 25 it was definitely worth it and if you're looking for something a little bit more natural with plant derived ingredients this is great it also comes in a dish soap it smells wonderful and fresh and peppermint and sage i love this bottle as well kitchen lemon hand soap of course i had to smell this it smells just like a lemon drop you know those lemon drop candies mm, i want to eat it no no don't do that nail files get yours from the dollar tree because you're going to be using them on these next tricks next tricks tricks next on these tricks next Four come in a pack and you may want to label your nail files for what I'm going to show you here in just a moment but these little gems are amazing especially in my kitchen this is where our garbage is and these handles where the towels are look at all this crud hanging out in here and there are very few tools that you can use to get in those nooks and crannies I clean this almost daily yet so much stuff accumulates on there this was so satisfying once I started this little project I could not stop I'm going to show you all that I collected it looks like little boogers on there in fact there may be some boogers on there my two-year-old maybe wiped one on her i know that's gross i'm sorry if you're eating or drinking something tasty but just look in here yes here's the thing when it comes to cleaning once you start really opening your eyes you see more and more and you think to yourself maybe i should just shut my eyes and then i won't see all the dirt and grime and yes we're going in with our diy dawn or dollar tree power wash if you will so anytime you have a handle using this tool is really going to help you out also it works great on light switches but look at this I know doesn't that make you want to throw up and vomit I feel so great now that it's all cleaned up you can use this nail file to get inside shoes so if you have stuff stuck underneath this is just my slipper that I wear all day every day in my house these toilet sticks these are awesome but you don't need them my toilet seat does not actually pop off like everybody talks about and I've never had a toilet seat that pops off I have to literally unscrew it and it is such a pain in the butt to do that so I need some really good cleaning tools so this nail file with a little paper towel wrapped around it works perfectly Perfectly. It's not too sharp and can get on all of those small spaces. Yes, I know this is gross as well. Sorry again if you were eating prior to this video. Or maybe I'm just adding some things to your cleaning to-do list. Or maybe not. Do whatever floats your fancy. But I can't unsee something once I see the dirt. I have to clean it. So I'm so grateful I was able to get in all those small spaces. This worked awesome. Then you can just easily throw it away. I tried this as a letter opener and it did not work very well it actually was very janky but of course I had to give it a whirl let you know if it worked or not there are better alternatives remote controls yes deep buttons maybe you eat your popcorn maybe you eat all the yummy chips and things fall in there your computer keys mine are not too deep my former keyboard they were I want to give a hoop hooper hooper shout out oh my gosh <laughs> oh man I want to give a super super shout out to Gwen thank you so much for supporting this channel and my coffee addiction I appreciate you so so much this next one I was not on board with it because I'm like this is gonna make my life so much more complicated I get that it's environmentally friendly but until today oh yes we're gonna be using this oh, this is so good 
We're calling this one bag savings because we're going to save big when it comes to using these. We go through a lot of plastic bags with my kids getting their snacks. I'm just, again, spraying this down with our DIY cleaner and rinsing it out. Now, these for drying, that was the biggest concern. How am I going to dry these bags every single day? Am I making more work for myself? But this dish rack works awesome for drying these bags. I'm loving this. So now I'm more apt to buy these reusable bags. I love the concept of them, but I also want to make my life easier if I can. So if I can combine both of those things, I am so happy. And these bags are great quality. They are durable. They are super cute. I mean, come on, they're a little dinosaur saying, feed me. This bottle drying rack is actually from Amazon. So I just wanted to show you how both of these work together. Here are some bags I showed in a previous video, how I fold these really nicely and store them and make them look pretty a little bit more compact but how about what if we use this dish rack for storing our paper bags I love this they look gorgeous and because it looks nice it makes me want to keep it that way rather than just like tossing them in a cupboard haphazardly give this a whirl the next time you're at the Dollar Tree and of course this wouldn't be an Andrea Jean video if I didn't experiment and test something out with you here today I made a previous video on the pink stuff yes you know that pink stuff, that little pasty stuff? Well, Dollar Tree's got their very own. So I've seen some other influencers raving about this product and recommending this product. So I'm gonna test it out and let you know what I think. Well, I mean, you're testing it out with me. We're, we're in this together. Yes, we are. Let's see if Dollar Tree's version is really pink fantastic when it comes to this multi-purpose cleaning paste that is oh so cute and fun to use. You can get this on Amazon for about $10 on sale. A new bigger tub, although bigger is not better because you can see my smaller tub. It is all dried out. It's only been a few months since I purchased this. I actually did a giveaway with this miracle paste showing all the different ways that you can use this. But Dollar Tree's version, we got grills, we got pots, pans, glass, silverware, chrome, shower, basically anywhere in your house you can use this. I will say the consistency is very nice. It is spongy. It's not as thick as the original miracle cleaning paste. So I wanted to try this out on something that was really dirty. Mineral deposits, soap scum, mold and mildew. How about my outside patio chairs. This is probably the dirtiest thing that I have in my house other than that garbage can handle that I showed you previously in the toilet. Okay, I can think of a lot of different things, but if I can clean this with the Miracle Paste, I can clean anything. I wipe down this table every single day. I'm just showing you what it looks like because of all the dust that accumulates from the pond and the trees and being outside and bird poop and all the things. Went ahead and sprayed this down with my hose to get it wet, and then I'm going to use this Miracle Paste just on one half of the back of this chair so that I could have a comparison. So I rubbed it in with just a regular old sponge and then I sprayed it back down with some water to get any residue off. And as you can see here, there's really no difference that was made on these chairs. I should have been able to accumulate a ton of brown because you saw all that brown that lays on the table and then it left this residue at the bottom of the chair, this this pink paste. Like this was a whole to do when it came to cleaning. So you have to make sure that you thoroughly wipe this up, kind of like baking soda, or you're just gonna have this all over the paste. So I don't love this for cleaning. It's not my first line of defense. It's fun to use in different situations. But again, I'm always gonna go with a spray cleaner, such as this DIY power wash, because it works every time. You know those really long handles that you can buy for $1.25? By the way, someone told me that some Dollar Trees are charging $1.50 for items. Let me know in the comments box below if that is you. <sighs> not happy about that. But those long poles, yeah, those, those poles, not the poles that you're thinking about. I know where your mind went on that one. The long poles, yes, I got something for you. Go, go, Gadget. Did you ever watch Inspector Gadget as a kid growing up? I was born in the 80s, so I got this long handle, and then I have a squeegee. You can get squeegees like this from the Dollar Tree. I want to see, does it actually stay on there? Can I squeegee my large windows? We typically hire a window service once a year to clean all the windows in my house, but I want to clean in between, and I don't want to pay someone a bunch of money to keep coming to my house. I was so surprised how well this worked. I didn't know if it would really stay on there because it doesn't screw 
on the handle, the Dollar Tree handle, but again, just using that DIY power wash to clean it. It works so well. I was so impressed about how clean it got it. And again, I can't just give you my opinion by trying this one time. So I had to try a few more windows that I knew were really dirty. So these front ones, as you can see here, spraying it down. And then I'm gonna go in with my long Go Go Gadget handle and the squeegee to clean everything off. This was really fun, really satisfying. It was a beautiful day and you can see all the dirt and grime that I was able to wipe up thanks to this long handled squeegee. But what I love about the Dollar Tree handle is it's multifunctional. I'm gonna show you here in just a second some really clever ways that I've used this that you may have not thought of before. Oh, so satisfying. Now a moment of truth. Can I get this thing off? It's wet. <laughs> oh, that works so well. Oh, that literally just slid right off. It just sticks just enough, which is what you need it for, but then it just like slides right off. This is so remarkable. Remarkable. Holy. How about this fluffy Dollar Tree duster? I love that you can bend it to all different shapes, forms, sizes that you need. Now this one does screw on nicely to the Dollar Tree handle. I'm trying it here on my baseboards. In a previous video, I did test out the baseboard buddy, which was fantastic. The best thing that I found so far when it comes to cleaning baseboards. Now when you're using this for baseboards, it's not the greatest because you can feel the metal banging against your baseboards um, inside of here. So it's just this weird, this weird feeling. So I don't recommend it for baseboards. Grab this Dollar Tree lemon scented furniture polish. I do love this product and I love the easy application and the foam. So we're trying out this long handled duster. This staircase is such a pain in the butt to clean. It's time consuming. There's a lot of nooks and crannies, but you can see this worked fantastic for cleaning this. I was able to do this in like two minutes maybe. Wonderful. I recommend it for that. But how about ceiling fans? I also loved it for cleaning the ceiling fans. Not baseboards, but everything else. This was such a fun product to use and super functional. This next one's a doozy, my friends. Stay tuned. I bought this rug from Walmart. I wanted to go with these beautiful prints that I got from Timu. I was inspired by this gorgeous picture. I just wanted to change things up. This is the rug that I currently have. The rest of my house is very beachy inspired. If I can't go to the beach, I'm bringing it to Minnesota. Minnesota, but I just wanted something a bit more moody, a bit more saturated, a little bit more warmth, and I thought the rug was the best place to do it. So I have a king size bed and I had to do this by myself and so what I ended up using was this Dollar Tree we're just going to call it a broom handle even though it's a handle for so many different things to flatten the rug underneath the bed when I needed to do it now I did shut off my camera a couple times during this process because I was going to give up I didn't think I was going to be able to lift this bed and then pull out this this big massive rug but then I put two sets of books underneath both sides of the bed I did it. I was ready to give up but I got I got it out of there Whew, now uh, time to get that one in. You saw where the rug was getting stuck in the middle of the bed, so the broom handle was great to help flatten that down so that I could slide the rug underneath. Now when it comes to putting the rug back in, this is a massive, massive rug. Oh my word. You want to set it up exactly where you want it at the end of your bed and then work its way to the center. And again, the center part was the hardest part because I can't crawl into the bed and then lift it all at the same time. Because I put books under here, now there's a little space you can see that I can work with to slip this rug under. Can't even believe that I just did that. Literally, I just had to slide it right under that tiny groove right there. <sighs> this looks so gorgeous now. It just made such a dramatic difference by changing out the rug. And I think it probably took me about 30 minutes to change this rug out by myself. So if I can do it, you can do it. You may sweat a little. You may cry. Don't injure yourself, but it's definitely possible. So I'm loving this style of rug. I just want to show you here. I have it in my boys' room. I believe it's the Lololi, if that's how you say it. It's in my daughter's room. They're fantastic. And I even have one in my office. This is not a cleaning product I've been a little bit on the fence about, so we're going to try it out here today. Shall we call this one clever cleaning? 
I've seen people selling a similar product to this, but I had never seen this at the Dollar Tree bathroom cleaner with these pods. My bathtub gets so dirty because I bathe kids in it every single day, especially in the summertime. I don't know if you can see if the camera will pick it up, but so much grime accumulates along the side of the bathtub and it's really, really sticky with sunscreen. Here are the directions for use. You wanna let it sit for 10 minutes so that the product can truly work. So I just dumped this liquid packet into the reusable bottle and then filled it up with some water shook it up and then I sprayed my bathroom my bathtub down liberally so it's four o'clock I guess it's the perfect time to have a little snack it's good Reese's peanut butter cups so good this is another little Timu find I showed in a previous video to get dust in all your blinds you can use it on your car but I thought let's use it in the bathtub it worked great and then I rinsed out the tub it worked amazing. I think this product is fun. And for $1.25, you can fill this bottle up two times. You can continue to reuse it. It's environmentally friendly with 99% less plastic. All right, thumbs up for that one. Things that used to disappear in your home will now magically reappear. This is the first time I've seen these magnetic clips at my Dollar Tree. It comes in white or black. I'm gonna go with the white. In a previous video, I showed how you can clip a clothespin to any place to hang your missing socks. But what about using this magnetic clip on your washer or your dryer. This little basket is also from the Dollar Tree. What's great about this is it's gonna help prevent future socks from going in the middle. How about this Dollar Tree mesh bag? I believe two or three come in a pack. Let me just demonstrate how grippy these are. Do you hear that? That's why these ones are so good. I always keep a pair of scissors and a cleaning toothbrush in my laundry room, but this was great to clip it right alongside my dryer. A little tip here, always make sure that you leave this open so that it does not mildew and keep your laundry room smelling fresh. I recently partnered with Timu, and I have to say one of my favorite products had to do with, well, toilet paper. I'll link that video in the description box below in case you are interested, but I wanted to find a Dollar Tree version of it, and you better believe ya yeah, girl did. Here is the Timu version of this toilet paper roll holder. I love it because it's not on the floor and there are no holes in the wall, so it is renter friendly. Much easier for me to clean. But Dollar Tree has this weird coat hanger sort of thing and it doesn't fit many places, but it did work right on my toilet tank with a full roll of toilet paper. I wanted to show you that so you can easily grab it. It also did work in my mudroom area where I had a thicker door. So hang a purse or something that you may easily forget if you are running out the door a backpack Woo -wee! that was a fun ride all right next week I'm going to be going into the home of one of my clients and I'm going to be refreshing her closet it is going to be such a good transformation should I give you a sneak peek right now the before of her closet do you want to see do you want to see oh, I cannot wait to show you okay right now you can see the before of her closet she has a great space to work with this of course is going to be a budget friendly closet transformation so if you love this sort of thing make sure that you hit that subscribe button with those notification bells so that you do not miss that also if you have not signed up for my free weekly newsletter make sure that you do in the description box below and you'll be the first to know whenever I do giveaways and other fun stuff please share this video with your friends and family so that I can reach more people on our road to 1 million subscribers oh, I'm sweating okay we're good oh that's another reason I wear her black because you can't see the sweat stains <laughs> And if you want to see 10 really cool life hacks that are going to make your life so much easier, truly, 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 click this video on screen now, thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.